thing. You know, the, 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 the centre backs need some protection. There needed to be something different. You know, I, I know Stephen Gerrard's super uh, experienced. You know, as a leader. I know Stephen We're super uh, uh, leaders out there to say, let's just tuck in nice and tight. We've got this victory. Even at three-one, let's make sure we win the game. Did he make the wrong substitution? <laughs> Hindsight, as we say, is a great thing. But yeah, you, you'd have to say they did. And. It's, it's almost like the Liverpool way. You, you, we talked earlier a couple of things. One, you talked about the Liverpool style. Well, they kind of got caught up in that. They were going for goals when it was about killing this game off, getting the, the three points and getting out of that place and keeping things alive. And it's interesting. They're one short of 100 goals scored, Liverpool. They're one short of 50 goals. That's too much. This isn't the title. Lot leading. And yes, they, even you could maybe score a few less and, and win titles. And... It was interesting, again, because the other thing you said to, to us earlier was about Manchester City. Having the experience of, of winning a title before, how did that, how will that help them? Games like today. Somebody on that pitch needed to put the brakes on. Yes, Brendan Rodgers is the manager, but sometimes when you're out there, Robbie, you, 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 you get one or two, you sent her off to set him up your place. Boy, sit in here. Fullbacks, hey, sit in here. The job's done. Somebody on the pitch has to take control, and Liverpool didn't seem to have that player or, or were able to do that today. There's two ways, really, of doing it, I think, to see a game out. The first way is the way we've kind of talked about there, to make sure everybody comes in, let's get a real tight, compact unit, or, you know, I'm just trying to think what City might have done there. The other way is possession keeping the ball, finding a way to put six, seven passes together a couple of times, then Crystal Palace all of a sudden don't quite have the same desire to go and win the ball, the game's not as fast, they're not in your half as much, and you'd expect that Liverpool team to be able to do that. That's where the pressure comes in, and, and, and you need every single player to want the ball and be responsible in passing, they couldn't do it. If Liverpool don't go on to win this title now, what will be the number one reason? Will it be the defending that Robbie L talked about there? I think all season long we've always thought that defensively they, they could be better. We always said again that they managed to score more goals. If the other team scored two or three, we'll get more than that. And they've, they've, they've really scored their way out of a lot of problems. I mean, it, it, it's, it seems so disappointing now for them. But again, I, I can take a step back and realise what a season they've had. You know, it does seem very disappointing. And there'd be, there'd be critics about what they've done. But they've had a remarkable season, and they still could go into the final day with a chance to win it. Well, now his man, man management skills mm. really come to the fore, because he's got yeah. to nip them. They've got five full days until next Sunday. Mentally, they've got to be, surely, at the right place in case City drops. Rebecca, points. we saw some iconic scenes that will stay with us after they beat Manchester City, and, and the huddle and all that with Steven Gerrard. We've seen some today. Luis Suarez was in tears. I mean, whatever you think about Luis 